One of the world's largest science projects is one step closer to completion. The European Spallation Source, a next-generation neutron scattering facility, is now in the first phase of construction. We are now in the first year of the construction phase, or preliminary. And uh, this year we are spending on forming the collaborations and the contributions from the different countries. 17 partner countries have come together to design this facility. The facility will push the art in accelerator technology, target technology and instrumentation. And, the, and the, it will be used as a tool for researchers in discovery. Basic science, applied science and basically the type of discoveries that ultimately make a difference in people's lives. This is what we've been working for. Uh, ever since we started and I think it's fantastic to be part of when we go from the pre-construction into the actual construction phase. I'm really excited about seeing the European Spallation Source come into fruition. Every day you see a change the, as the facility becomes real. In my experience the, the start of civil construction is a, big, is a big milestone. When people see that the facility is now under construction they become very focused at moving forward at the, at the most aggressive schedule they can. It's all about getting to neutrons as fast as possible, and that's the way we're going to do it. Much of the excitement surrounding ESS lies in its innovation, particularly involving the spallation target. Instead of a stationary target, as has always been uh, built so far in all spallation sources, our target will rotate to spread the power uh, out and make the uh, greatly simplify the engineering design of the target. The second innovation uh, for this target is the use of helium as our coolant rather than water or uh, using a liquid metal as the target material for carrying away the heat deposited by the, the accelerator. So those are both innovative uh, concepts that we believe will make uh, uh, ESS a highly reliable uh, target station. And the accelerator at ESS will be the world's most powerful. The accelerator itself, we are, so to say, providing the sledgehammer. The sledgehammer that is going to hit the target that we are radiating and where the neutrons are coming flying out to all the instruments around there. This is the biggest uh, accelerator-based project running in the world at this time. Uh, it is uh, one and a half billion uh, uh, invested uh, into an accelerator-based facility with an accelerator that will be the most powerful of its kind uh, when it comes online in 2019. So we have a grand goal with ESS. We're not just building one of the world's most powerful accelerators and one of the world's most flexible and innovative targets. Uh, target stations to produce neutrons, but within the same construction budget we're including a full instrument suite of 22 instruments. This is something that has not been attempted before in the construction of a new neutron source. But we're looking a little bit more than that. It's not just the construction of 22 state-of-the-art instruments. Uh, you have to look at how society uses these instruments and how you get the most science and the best science uh, out of that instrument suite. If we can find new ways of uh, storing energy or uh, using our natural resources in a better way, finding new processes to make things in a more uh, sustainable fashion and that we can improve the quality of life by uh, new drugs or new uh, processes, etc. Uh, I think that is fascinating and that is what ESS is all about. Scientists are also learning that the selection site for ESS in Lund, Sweden is proving to be a success. Yeah, the competition was intense. I mean, it's a, it's a major coup to be able to take on a facility like ESS. It's transformational. I mean, it's close to a major airport, Lund University, an existing synchrotron facility, MAX-4. I mean, there is a foundation in place that ESS can build upon and, and extend. And, you know, the experience has been with facilities like this type that it is a game changer for a, for a region. We bring together all the people from all over the world and we do it together. It's something that, that really touches me and I think it shows the potential of what, you're, of what we can do together as Europeans. To be involved with a project like the European Spallation Source is tremendously exciting. Every day you see progress. It's very tangible, it's very rewarding, and the people are rallying behind a common goal. And what you see is the, the people that are involved accomplish great things to make this happen. 
the outcome of ESS uh, will have an effect on your life and on my life. And to be part of that contribution I think is fantastic.